There are few foods more iconic to New York City than the dollar slice. Hey, but do brother. Hey, what's up? What's up? I know you. You see my channel? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, Thank you. Good, good. Foods more iconic to New York City than the dollar slice. But due to rising costs, these bastions of cheap eats goodness are going away. Today, in honor of this endangered food species, we are going to eat nothing but dollar pizza the entire day. But I'm missing one thing, a co-host. Hey, Ben, you hungry? Let's see, am I hungry? Always. All right, we have not dedicated a video to the channel on dollar pizza in so many years. This is long overdue. Two slices? That's a pretty sturdy slice. They just turn around their customers so quickly. You're in and out in like two minutes. Let's take a bite, I'm, I'm starving. I've been fasting for this video. You know, if I was super hungry and in a rush, this works. It's nothing fancy for a buck, let's be honest. A lot of cheese, not a ton of sauce. I would say that might be my issue with this slice. So it's cold outside, warm in here. And this is a warm slice, more could you ask for for a buck. You eat a lot of dollar pizza, Ben? I do eat a lot of dollar pizza, you know. Going to film school in New York, this kind of saved me in those college days. I like the bite a lot, it's really thin. It's exactly what I want a dollar pizza to be. Still can't believe this is still a dollar. Might not be for much longer. We're gonna talk more about that later. Mm -mm. Things are changing in the city. This is what we're doing all day, eating dollar pizza. I could think of far worse fates for a man, you? Two? Yeah. That's it. We were walking down the street to eat our Mutant-sized dollar pizza. I don't know a mutant size. It's actually pretty big. To quote Forrest Gump, life is like a dollar pizza slice. You never know what you're gonna get. You got some stringy cheese on top. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. You? Definitely a lot cheesier and a lot chunkier looking. The crust is really doughy. Like not at all what I'm used to for your your typical slice. But we're we're gonna go with this. Hmm. I kind of like this one. It has flavor that like actually jumps out at you a little bit. And I think that flavor comes from the dough, because I'm I'm tasting a bit of a, some garlicky yeah. flavor into it. Yeah. But I got a question for you. We should do an experiment. What if you walked into a 99 cent pizza spot and actually just dropped 99 pennies in there? Because usually you give them a dollar and you don't get change. Do you think they would take 99 cents? I think they'd just kick you out. We're not expecting Parmigiano Reggiano cheese on these slices. I don't know where this cheese is from. The cheese might be cheap, but I feel like they put some work into this bread. Yeah. And I think that's what's giving us the edge to complete the, the different, unique experience. Difference maker here. This reminds me of school lunch pizza. Mm. This is exactly what this reminds me of. It's been almost 20 years. Yeah, definitely. Like, I think it's like, is that like a universal thing? Like high school across America? I think so. I think that's why I feel so nostalgic for a slice I didn't know anything about. Yeah, the, the way that the bread is soft, the way the cheese is uh, put. So we're about to do something a little bit crazy, which has never been done before on the channel. We're eating at a chain pizza spot. I walked by and I saw Papa John's has a 99 cent slice. Curiosity has gotten the best of me, guys. So I apologize in advance. We're adding it to the video. So I get two of the 99 cent slices. That's it. Do all Papa John's do this or just this one? So far, I know only we're doing and I think in Manhattan. I don't know if I ever even had Papa John's in my life, to be honest with you. The New York pizza snob in me doesn't want to make those kind of concessions, but it looks okay for a buck. There's a lot of cheese, I think. What I love about New York is everyone is in everyone's business and it's beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. This isn't really New York style pizza, like you can barely fold this. This is probably the same Papa John's you get anywhere. Does Dollar Papa John's pizza exist where you're watching from? Tell me, you know, do tell me, let me try this. It tastes like what I imagine Papa John's pizza would taste like. Super cheesy, doesn't really have much character though. I feel like if I just close my eyes, I could be in Nebraska eating this. That being said, I do see the value in it, but not crunchy at all. It takes me back to my days eating Pizza Hut as a kid. 
Even though North Jersey, where I grew up, had great pizza, every once in a while my parents would take me to Pizza Hut. This is what this reminds me of. All right, Ben, you grew up with uh, Papa John's. What'd you grow up with? No, I grew up with uh, actually Pizza Hut, but they don't have it here. But other than that, I grew up with Domino's back in Virginia. Ah, tastes like a bowling alley pizza. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you take a bite out of this, you feel like you're in a dorm room. You got late night finals, mm -hmm. you got to study. Priming for a test. I never did any of that, but if I did, that's just what I would be eating. What was your average test score in the school? Let's not discuss that. Life with John Barr, always on the go. This is John Barr thinking of pizza. How far would you travel for a good slice of pizza? To the ends of the earth. I've been watching your videos for like the past week, dude. Happy to help you out. Cool. <laughs> Take care. I looked like you saw a ghost. You're the New York dude. Yeah. I go by many nicknames, that's one of them. I put the wrong 99 cent pizza place. Still quite a few in New York, you can make this mistake. Wait, it's, it's, it's this way. Oh, there's always gotta be some GPS issues. Uh, it's part of the experience. Yep, we always get lost. Two slices. I want to give a shout out to Chicago's best YouTuber, Louis Gusto. We actually filmed on his channel a pizza video, and we went to this spot as the dollar pizza representative, and I remember it was good. Like, that's why I put it in this video. This already looks more like a New York slice to me. This isn't your school lunch style, this isn't your bowling alley pizza, this isn't your Papa John's. This is a classic New York dollar slice, all right. There we go. It's good, but I think it's been sitting for a while. That's a problem with like any slice spot. The pizza's been sitting for a long time. It loses a certain something, a certain freshness, but you know, it's got a nice chew. Okay cheese to sauce ratio. You know, I think for this part of Manhattan, this is solid. I agree. The flavor was almost there, but it's the fact that it's like, just doesn't taste as fresh. That's what we've had. Yeah, we should have asked him to heat it up. Mm -hmm. It's a dollar. We don't complain. I won't make any real complaints about it unless it's ice cold. And it's not. No. And the flavor is there. You can definitely taste some effort put in this slice. It just so happened that we got it at the wrong time. My inspiration for today. You stand out like a cone. Back in the village, old stomping grounds. Now imagine the barber shop sold a 99 cent pizza while you got your hair cut. Million dollar idea. Two slices. Thank you. We even got two plates. Nice. Round paper plates, eco-friendly, right? We're setting up our own outdoor dining spot for like five minutes. I hope the restaurant doesn't get too pissed. You know, in five years, this might not even exist anymore. That's a sad fact that dollar pizza is going the way Going the way of something extinct. What, what, what's something extinct? The dodo bird, the dinosaur, anything more clever than that? Fidget spinner, well, like planking. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's a little crunchy. Tomato sauce actually has a little zesty flavor to it. Mm. All of a sudden, this slice just made you realize what a dollar pizza actually could be and why it's so special in New York. And that's also why we don't want it to go away. Right? Imagine dollar pizza places already are running at razor thin margins. The cost of food is going up in general everywhere in the US. So a lot of famous dollar pizza places are raising their prices. Two Bros is now $1.50. My all time favorite Percy's is now $2. A 99 cent pizza sign in New York City is the equivalent of driving in small town America and seeing the golden arches. Like, you know pretty much exactly what you're gonna get. Or Golden Corral. Or, or Golden Corral, yeah. Mm -hmm. Smell that, John? Oh, I smell it. Mm, Washington Square Park. You know what they say. The grass is greener here. So there's three things you need to know about dollar pizzas. Yeah, he'll do like a zoom in, zoom out. <laughs> What's your secret recipe? No, oh, my friend! Bangladesh <laughs> Are a lot of the dollar pizza places owned by people from Bangladesh? Yeah. I didn't know that, alright. Brooklyn, right. Bronx, Jackson Heights, Manhattan. 
Oh, thank you so much. This looks good. Yeah, I'm gonna save you the trouble. You can leave the comment. He's eating six slices of pizza and drinking Diet Coke. For me, dollar pizza was always either I'm walking by and I just want a snack, or it's late night, you drank a lot, and you want a little something before you go to bed. Here we go. Crunchy, pretty good cheese to sauce ratio on it. Nice size slice. Nothing to complain about. I think of all the places we've had today, if I had to take an out of town or in, and just to give you the prototypical dollar pizza experience, like this is it right here, this slice right here. I would go to bed content, ready to fight my hangover the next day if this was my last slice of the night. A slice a day keeps the doctor away. Probably well, not true. Probably not true, but... Uh... Check out our Cheap Eats playlist here and tell me in the comments, have you ever had dollar pizza before? I'm curious, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, till next time.